linguistics, and I, it's not my original idea, um, but it occurred to me it would be fun to take one of my favorite poems and basically do the opposite. So his poem is called High, and my, po my poem is called Low. Uh, I'll read his first. Um, so you get an idea, and then I'll read my poem, which is hilariously bad. <laughs> and I hope I hope it I hope it garners no, laughter because it really is funny. Um, so his poem is high. On that clear October morning, I was only behind a double espresso and a single hit of antidepressant. Yet there, on the shore of the reservoir, with its flipped over rowboats, I felt like I was walking with Jane Austen to borrow the jargon of the streets. Yes, I was wearing the crown, as the drug addicts like to say, knitting a bonnet for Charlie, entertaining the troops, sitting in the study with H.G. Wells. So many ways to express that mood of royal goodwill, when the gift of sight is cause enough for jubilation. And later in the afternoon, when I finally came down, a lexicon was waiting for me there, too. In my upholstered chair by a window, with dusk pouring into the room, I appeared to be doing nothing. But inside, I was busy riding the marble, as the lurkers like to put it, talking to Marco Polo, juggling turtles, going through the spin cycle, or my favorite, if I had to have one, out of milk. That's his poem. It's not me. That is not me. <laughs> it's way too good. But today I decided I was going to try to do the opposite of every single word. The rule is every single word, including a's and the's and of's and what have you. Just play with it. In this clouded November evening, she's just in front, the triple macchiato and the triple shot in whiskey diet. Though here, in a bank to a river bend, by someone's upsided ship, she knew it could run aside Ernest Hemingway. Asking how to speak like him, no, she wasn't adorned a metal, like a pill popper might suggest. Crafting her armor at me, boring an audience, standing on a thesis among scientists, too few opportunistic vocalizings of truth in layman's curse, just as doom with blindness harbors chance of complication. Yet earlier at brunch, if she earlier went up, the muteness, the muteness is staying with him here as well. On her shoddy stance in the doorway, at dawn, seeping out of a canyon, she seemed as though creating chaos. However outwardly she could dally, leaning a cushion, if some viewers prefer saying, translating from Sacagawea, tipping cattle, traversing behind her circle running, and, personally, you may come to see in from honey. That's it. Let's give a big round of applause for Chelsea. Yay. She's she's not only a uh, very, very good writer, far more than she gives herself credit for, but she's nice enough to have us here uh, on a monthly basis. Um, so let's see here. Uh, coming up. Uh, next on the list is a uh, person who's featured here in the past, 
please welcome Elizabeth Marino.